Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jem and here on this channel we do a lot of sewing content. Uh, mostly my things that I'm making for myself or my little dude. But in this video, we're actually gonna be doing a haul. I know if you're like me, you love a good haul video. And this one is going to include patterns, sewing patterns, fabrics and a massive thrift haul that I recently procured. So if you are into that, please keep watching. The first section of this haul is going to be patterns. I have my notes right here because I got them from three different places, I believe. Um, and I made some notes about what my thoughts were when picking up each one. So we'll go over them like that. So one of the things that I've been looking to do recently is make more bottoms, but overalls. I have no overalls currently in my collection and I really like to make at least three, I think. I think they would look really good with turtlenecks, which is something that I love to wear in the winter time. Um, and so that is something that I've been on the lookout for. So the calls went on sale a couple of months ago at Joann's, the $1.99 sale, and I bought a bunch of the calls. So that is what you're going to be seeing in the beginning. And the first one is this one one from Brandy Joan. It is some overalls. Um, I'll show you the picture here. So I love the fit on this. It looks a little bit baggier. I love that she cuffs it um, on the bottom there and I thought that this would be a really good fit. I bought this size range that goes up to size 14 and the finished hip is 41 and mine is 42 so i'm not sure if this will fit me or not maybe i will give it a go um so we'll see about that next one this was an impulse buy for sure i'm not the hugest laura ashley fan um, but i really thought that this would be a cute look for the summer i got the size range from 8 to 16 um, so I'm not 100% sure that this will actually fit my waist size, um, but the top definitely will, and it's a pretty basic top that I think could fit well for next summer. This next one is McCall's 8138, and I am in love with this one. I just made another turtleneck skater type dress like this. Um, for November and I hated how that pattern came out uh, so I'm hoping this will be a little bit better um, not sure but we'll give it a go I do have a fabric already in mind for this one this next one is McCall's 8284 and it is a top and a dress pattern for me, I really only like view D with the little collar with the ruffles. Um, I just like how that looks better. I would, the other ones are too, the tops are a little bit too long for me, even though like I could put them in something. I just, I just don't like them. I like it as the dress with the little cuffs as well. So I don't have a fabric in mind for that, but I really like it. This Butterick one, I think I might have gotten on a different sale from Joann's, but 6914, and it really reminds me of John Kloss's patterns, who I collect all of his patterns, um, his vintage patterns. Um, maybe I'll share that in a different video, but I really like this. It it's it says that it's a dress with just a jacket. Uh, it looks like lingerie to me, but whatever. I really I like the jacket the most, honestly, more than the dresses, um, and that's probably what I would make. So this next one is a pattern it's the named as esme cardigan and i actually bought this because the sewing group that i'm in this was like in the runnings to be one of the patterns that we were going to make and so i was like oh i this is actually something i need in my wardrobe i need a long black cardigan for some of my looks and so i just went ahead and bought it since it's a long cardigan I didn't want to have to do all of the piecing together of the PDFs and so I splurged and I bought this from 
style maker fabrics. Uh, I believe it was 20 something dollars shipped. So that's a little bit of a, a splurge for me for a pattern. But I am looking forward to making this once I find the correct black sweater knit fabric. So the next lot of these patterns are ones that I found at my local Creative Reuse store. So they're probably around like a dollar or so a piece. Um, I found this one and I liked it originally. This is Simplicity 5698. Um, it's in my bust size. Sometimes I just get grabby and grab a pattern if it's my bust size or around my bust size. Um, and I think that's what happened here because now that I'm looking at it, the only views that I would like were one and two and now I kind of hate them. So I think this one is going to go up on my end. Next is Vogue 9665. Originally I know why I bought it because I was looking for some more accessories and things that I could use small scraps up for, but like as I'm making this video and like looking at the patterns and what would I actually use, I'm kind of like, I don't think I want this. I don't think I'm going to use this. I have view A already as something else and I have view C as something else and I wouldn't wear view D or E. So I think this one also is going to go up on my head. Next is Butterick 3056 from 2001. I mean this looks like it's from 2001 and I, this is absolutely not my style at all. But I have short hair right now and hair bands are kind of annoying me because they have like a big band in the back and it makes my hair like flip up and look really stupid. And so I thought I would pick this one up for the very, very simple headband pattern here that's just basically a strip of fabric with a piece of elastic, skinny elastic in the back. Maybe use up some scraps, maybe a simple project. I, obviously this is so simple I could have just cut a rectangle, but when you find it out there in the wild for a dollar, you do it. This next one is Simplicity 7915. This is just a really cute 1960s dress and obviously the collar is the, the statement piece here. So that's kind of why I picked this one up. It is a bus 38. So maybe, maybe not, it will fit me. I'm not sure. I think this would be like an impulse added on to my makes for the month to try this out. If you don't know this about me, I'm really, I really don't like doing alterations. So I really like to buy things in my size. And we'll see, we'll see if I do this one. This, I just really love the color. This next one is McCall 75. Four seven, which is another overalls pattern that I found at the Creative Reuse store. So this one is definitely a, a more fitted style, so that one I really don't know if it would fit me, and this one only goes up to size 14. So I'm probably uh, would try the Brandy Joan one before I do this one, and I don't even know. The next two are special because they're indie patterns, and I always love finding those ones in the wild. This one is the Friday Pattern Company the raglan blouse so this is just like a super super simple woven pattern um i think this would just be an easy make if i wanted to do something for my stash over here like a, a nice rayon that i've been saving according to the size I'm, I'm supposed to be a small in this so hopefully that would be an easy make for me and the last one is the sew over it penny dress um also supposed to be a very simple make I want to say so over it is yeah it's from the UK so this is pretty rare to get this on on our side of the pond is that a thing um I mean we're on the west coast of here so it's quite far away so it was pretty cool to find this also out in the wild it was brand new hasn't been cut in two either so maybe I will also try this The next round of haul here is fabric, 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 yes! Yeah! <laughs> and I'll tell you if I had intentions, what my intentions were. First one here is this beautiful houndstooth print. Um, it's a stretch knit fabric that I picked up on impulse at um, Stone Mountain and Daughters a couple of months ago. And that dress that I was, the pattern that I showed you earlier with the mock neck 
um, turtleneck and was like a skater style shirt skirt I think this is what I'm gonna do with that so that one is semi-planned this one here was kind of an impulse I was searching on Etsy for a fabric that was similar to my Thanksgiving dress and this one kind of popped up as the right look and she did specify in her listing that it was narrow and I'm fine with buying narrow especially using vintage patterns but this wasn't actually a narrow cut this was actually cut so that was quite annoying um, this is literally how wide the fabric is so even if I wanted to try and make this work because it's a lot of fabric it's just no I can't get any of the pattern pieces to fit on here even the skirts it was just like that's kind of annoying she did double check with me and she gave me a deal um, the Etsy seller so I don't know maybe I'll find the right woven tank top or something to, to make with this so kind of a bust. The next couple of pieces I scored from my Creative Reuse store that I'm obsessed with. Oh man, I should take some video there so you guys can see the fabric section. It's divine. These two pieces, this one right here, this one right here I was having dreams about. Um, every time I'd go in there I'd see it and I always thought it was so beautiful. <laughs> but it was like, what am I gonna do with this? And I was like, now I'm having dreams about it. So I definitely need to have it and I definitely need to make like an obviously gaudy holiday dress with this. I went there and bought it. It's such a huge amount of yardage. And then this one was right by it and it's also gorgeous and I just couldn't resist. So I thought maybe like this would be the base and this could be contrast. I, I had a potential pattern but that pattern is not quite working out, so we'll see. But this is definitely a December project here. And then this fabric was from the Creative Reuse store as well. It's a gorgeous purple floral pattern. No idea what I am gonna do with it. And it's not that much yardage, but I think it could be like a cute vintage top. And same with this. This one is even a thinner weight um, fabric than the other one, but I just loved, I loved the vintage look of it. And it'll probably be, I mean, it's got more yardage than that one. It could be a dress as well, so we will see. And the last amount of fabric here was from when I went thrifting this past weekend. And I have been looking specifically when I've been thrifting for for things um, so for my holiday dress I wanted an evergreen like silk or something with a really nice drape and this was all packaged together in one thing so if I wanted this I had to get all of it and it was only like five bucks so that was fine to me through the bag it kind of felt like it had enough drape but now out of the bag it definitely does not have enough drape especially compared to the other fabric that I'm using as the test fabric. So whatever, I have this nice evergreen fabric. I'm sure we'll find a project for it. So that was the, was the initial reason for buying this. And then there was this lovely orange linen fabric that has like this slubbiness on it and I've already actually used this for a vest pattern that I am working on for a friend's birthday present then it has this like tiny remnant of some like black I don't know I could maybe use it for something a collar or something like that and then there's this very odd pinkish mauve polka dot knit in here which is not my colors at all so I don't know what I would do with that. There's a little piece of green lining in here, which it would be useful for something else down the line. And then lastly, this really nice black um, fabric. I have no, I have no idea. It has a nice drape and it has a nice weight to it. So I definitely feel like it could potentially be a skirt or something. Before we get into the clothes, I have a couple things here that I also recently got. I purchased this lovely piece of art 
from DIY Daisy um, on Instagram. If you don't already follow her, I have her book. She's lovely. Um, I believe she's in Australia. So this came all the way from Australia to me. So she participated in Peachtober, but she did these little cutouts, I guess. Um, for each day so this one was a seam ripper and I just thought it would be perfect to go in my sewing area sewing studio here so I got that I got to get it framed and put up and she also included a print as well so I never buy prints so this is gonna be cool I'm gonna find some place to put it in my house and the last random bit that I got at the thrift store um, was this so <laughs> this is something that I grew up with um, in the 90s and the 80s. These little frames with these cutouts, whenever I go to thrift stores, I always look for these. They are always, they have to be like in a wood frame and they have to have these like old cutouts here. I don't know what it is, but it makes me so nostalgic and I love it. And so I'm going to put my baby's photos or maybe, maybe some family photos. I don't know, probably just my baby's photos in here and hang this up. But I'm, I was really stoked to find this. If you ever find these out in the wild, let me know. Now let's get into the juicy bits. My thrift haul finds. Clothing, clothing, clothing. So I went through the torture of trying all of these on for you. So you're gonna see me wearing them here and I will briefly talk about all of the pieces because there's quite a pile of things that I found. Let's start with this wild hippie jumpsuit. This is the second time I've gotten one of these. Um, the last one I got <clears throat> went right back to the thrift store. <laughs> but this one I actually like on. That fits me in a different way that I prefer. Not sure if I'll wear it for the winter or not. Um, maybe with a turtleneck it might look doable and might keep me warm, we will see. Okay, so this next one for sure is 100% me, my vibes. has been for years, for decades now. Houndstooth and some red and a belt and you know, you know the look, this fiery dress right here. Perfect. Uh, I was concerned it might be a little too body y and you're gonna see me wearing it without Spanx. Just be mindful. We're missing the Spanx. We're missing the full look, the style. But this is definitely the vibe. This is definitely a Jemmy book staple. Very happy. This little H&M dress, shift dress. I really like the print and I thought it looked good with my hair. Wasn't 100% sure if it was gonna fit. It's a size 10. 10 or 12 for me for them kind of works, but thought it was a nice little shift dress. I'm okay with how it looks on. Um, it needs to be styled. We'll, we'll decide. We might go, this might go back to the thrift store. This one, here she is. I have been looking for a basic white trapeze dress at the thrift stores for two months now, and I finally found one. So I have a, December project that I am making a dress that is inspired by Grease 2 and I just did not want to make the base dress so this is this is as good as it's gonna get and who cares it's not gonna be perfect but it's the look is gonna be there and it, you're gonna know what it's gonna be for and so this works and I can't wait to make this up for you guys this next one is a basic B I do have a job um, and I need to look professional sometimes. And so this is just like a really chill, basic knit. It's gonna get the job done. I can just throw it on. It's loft petites, uh, yas. So it's fine, good quality. We'll get the job done for work. I always have to go into lingerie section when I go to any thrift store. That's usually like one of the second places I go. And I love the slips. I love the 90s. I wear them as 90s. I have two 90s and two slips right now. And now I have another one. And this one fits so lovely. I love this little detail on the collar here. It's so cute and it fits my ladies. And that's always the issue. So very happy about that. This little H&M cheetah print. 
Uh, if you're not the type where cheetah print is the neutral for you, then you know, we're in different groups here. Cheetah print, cheetah print, animal print, that's a neutral for me. Um, so I saw this and this is a little H&M, which size is this? Medium, that's a standard for me. So I thought this would be great, especially with a pencil skirt. Uh, okay, so we got one fail here. As you see me trying this on, it does the wrong things for my boobs. So this one is going back to the thrift store. So bye bye little Forever 21. Loved the idea of this 70s inspired look, but no. This one is just a practical little cardigan and this one is honestly also probably from H&M. They took out the the label here but it definitely looks like it's H&M. I have a black one that's very similar to this and I love how it cinches in with the ties here. I love that look. It's perfect so just a good little staple. And then I love this little Hoochie Mama lingerie beach cover-up whatever it's supposed to be. Um, perfect with a little bit not a bikini, just like a bra and then a black pencil skirt is my vibe for this. So, very happy about that. And lastly is a little plaid scarf, because I don't have one. And you need a basic red plaid scarf in your wardrobe. Well, that is everything in the massive haul that I picked up over the last couple of months here. I'm looking forward to styling some of the new clothes that I got and finding projects to make some of the fabric out of. So we will see how those come along and I will be sure to share those with you. I did want to say thank you so much to all of the new subscribers. Since we've been posting regularly, it's been growing and I love seeing all of the new subscribers out there joining here on my little slice of the YouTubes. If you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to smash that subscribe button and hit the like button if you liked anything that you saw here. And let me know if you have any ideas for any of the fabric because I'm always looking for some inspo. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!